Hey guys, welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution. We'll be talking about the Dilophosaurus today. Just a wee update, we did get a comment last in the video for the uh, uh, Edmontosaurus and we managed to get a name. So the name was Bertie and it was the Rainforest skin that won it. Uh, moving on, I have got five Dilophosaurus ready to come out. There is four skins and one uh, default skin. Uh, so we'll start popping these out, we'll get some information about them as we go along. Okay, so the first one, this is just the regular basic skin. Let's have a wee look at this uh, small Carnosaurus. Okay. So, you can see that he is very small, he's working well, okay, he does look good, there's plenty of pattern on him. Yeah, so these wee creatures are amazing, they're very very cheap to get at the very beginning of the game, so they do work really well early on for the, the first carnivore. Uh, they're reasonably cheap, so they work out at a cost of uh, 317,000 for just the basic. No, ge no genetic modifications on them, no skins on them. This wee guy here, 317,000. So, we'll look at the next one and see if we have a wee bit more information on that. This one is the Savannah. So, we'll have a wee look at the Savannah. Okay, so a wee bit more about these. The Dilophosaurus is a social interaction group of 12. So you can have 12 of these in one pen together. Uh, they, they can be in a rather small group. You can have them in with herbivores as well, as long as the herbivores are medium. Uh, medium size or larger. Any smalls, they will kill the small herbivores. Uh, they will attack some medium, but not a lot. So just so that you're aware ahead of time, just in case they do get attacked, but normally it's absolutely fine. They do fight with other small carni carnivores if you manage to get them along as well. Okay, so we'll look at the next one. The next one is a the Tegra? Tigra? I don't know. Tasia? I don't know. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is the next skin anyway. Uh, this one looks off a of yellow. Quite nice. Okay, and the next wee part about this is they they can have an ideal population of 22. So they can have 22 other dinosaurs in with them. Uh, like I says, any of the medium or bigger dinosaurs. Uh, so with with carnivores, you can have an, a medium or a large in with them, uh, depending on how who's fighting with who. Normally, you get one small and a large or a medium in with it and you can just add as many as you need to fill up the gap. Okay so we'll look at the next one in line now and I'll give you a wee bit further information on these. Okay so the next one is wetlands. More information on them is they do have five gene slots and the gene slots is one defense gene slot two attack gene slots and two resilience gene slots. Uh, their incubation time is 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Whether they have gene slot modifications on or not, it will take only 3 minutes and 10 seconds to incubate one of these. So yeah, they're really quite good for very first, uh, well, one of the first carnivores that you do get access to. They are really small, they're very wiry, you normally get them quite, like, they're normally very fast and hard to see if you don't zoom right in on them or look quite close. Oh, they're having a wee chat. Check that. Okay, so the next one and the last part of the information that I can give you is the vivid pattern. Okay, so we'll have a wee look at this guy. Okay, so the base stats that you get on these without any modifications is the attack is 47, the defense is 15, and the lifespan is 74, which is really quite good for a small carnivore. And the resilience again is really quite good at 74 as well. Also, their star base rating, wow, he looks fantastic. Their star base rating is 69, which is three and a half stars. That's without any skins. That is the basic, the very basic uh, Dilophosaurus. That's without any skins. With the skins, you do get a four star which jumps up to eight, uh, a star rating of 81. Uh, they are amazing features. Okay guys, so we do have uh, some 
some dinos left from the first two videos, which was the um, the Triceratops and uh, the Struthiomimus. So there is one of each that still need to be named. Please leave that in the comment below. If you would like to name one of them, I will pick out a name. And for this, uh, for the Dilophosaurus, please comment with your um, the skin that you think is the best and a name for the Dilophosaurus. I will pick two different ones. So I'll pick one for the skin and then a different one again for the name. But uh, please leave uh, inf information in the comments below. Please comment also in the next dinosaur you would like me to do a profile on. And we'll have a wee look at that and I'll sort it out for you. As I do, I do this daily. I will post a daily video of the dinosaurs that we're doing. And uh, please, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And again, if you're enjoying the videos and you'd like to get more of them and notifications of it happening, hit the subscribe button, please. Thanks very much, guys. I will see you in the next video.